People have been trying to figure out how to manage weeds since the beginning of farming. Flame weeding is one of those techniques that has been used for a very long time. Some might even consider adding field burning to this category, which has been used for thousands of years, due in part to its weed management applications. Flame weeding is a non-chemical method for managing weeds. It's also attractive due to the lack of chemical residues left on the soil and the water. It controls a wide spectrum of weeds, and the weeds are also incapable of developing resistance to flames. Additionally, it's compatible with no-tillage production systems. All modern flame weeders are comprised of two components, a fuel source and a burner. From there, the sky's the limit. There are options on the market that can accommodate farms of any size. There are also innovations in design that include hoods and things like that that help direct the flame and increase heat right above the soil surface where the plant is, where the target organism is. Flame weeders with exposed flames uh, do best in low wind environments, uh, perhaps in a greenhouse or hoop house. And wheeled options are good for, for larger acreages, perhaps up to about an acre and a half. As with most other weed management practices, it's often best to start managing the weeds at an earlier stage. The earlier the better. The weeds in this video are well beyond the desired stage. The goal with most planted crops is to have all the flame weeding done prior to seedling emergence. And avoid flame weeding when the ground is wet or if it's going to rain, as this will reduce the effectiveness of flame weeding. When making passes along a bed, a slow walk should be enough to get the job done. There's no need to burn or scorch the ground. Just a glassy look on the leaves of your target plants should be enough to get the job done. Once the surface tissues of the weeds have been scorched, they will typically wither away and die within about two days. Flame weeding may not be as effective on certain specific weed species that include some perennial grasses and plants with deep-rooted energy storage mechanisms like rhizomes and starchy bulbs and tubers. If you want to learn more about weed management, please visit atra.ncat.org, where you can see all of our videos, podcasts, and publications.